Hi there, I just finished sculpting my dude with a million eagles and I got the question on how to make those wings. And it's actually not so hard, so I can show you what I usually do. Is I take a bit of green stuff. Let's say I want to make a feather or an eagle wing on his, his thigh pad. <laughs> I still don't know what it's called. Anyway. I just push some green stuff on there. Let's say I want to make a, a wing with the, the, the feathers down, pointing downwards. So I first push a blob of green stuff on there. That's roughly the shape of what I'm looking for. So this is roughly what I would start out with. Now, if I take a, this model and look at the feathers, what you'll see is that, uh, the ridge, every feather has a uh, is pushed into the ridge of the next one. Uh, so that's what we're going to make as well. Now, first I just make an outline with a sharp knife of where the feathers need to be. Let's say I want to make these feathers like this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to push each feather into the next one. With the somewhat sharp edge of my silicone tool. And what this does is it makes the, the lower feather uh, kind of fold underneath the upper feather. First I push them into the next one. <coughs> and then the next step is to pull the upper feather back over the so now I'm pulling down instead of pushing up. So and to really define it, I just need to keep going back and forth between pushing it into the next one and pulling it over the, the other one. So first I push it into the one above and then I pull it over the one below. I'm doing this with my silicone shaper. You can also do it with a uh, the flat end of the sharp knife. And the deeper you push it under the, the feather above, the more definition you will get in the feathers and the easier it will become to paint it. Because if you shade it, the paint will just simply go into the recess and give you the shade that you want. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm messing it up. Talking and sculpting at the same time is also not recommended. Well, maybe talking and sculpting and filming. All right. That was a quick one. Um, so it's a bit wobbly right now. The way to get that better is just keep going back and forth. Uh, what you can also do, I mean, this is fresh green stuff. So what you can also do is just wait a bit until it's set a bit more and becomes uh, uh, harder, stiffer, and then it might become easier to get well-defined ridges in there because it's so soft right now that it deforms quite easily. I prefer to start working immediately when the, the green stuff is still soft and then once it's a bit high, harder, like half an hour later or something or an hour later, I'll go back and finish up a bit. Okay, so that's it. How to sculpt wings with green stuff in small detail. Hope you learned something new and uh, see you next time. Goodbye.